Free and I'm back with another video and today I'm going to do story time for you. Alright, so um, before I start, I just want to put, I just want to take a moment of silence for everything that's going on with police brutality and I just want to, you know, I just want to encourage everybody to to continue to fight for what's right because as long as you're fighting as long as you're trying to be heard and be going on that's when things can really that's when things really start to change and that's when we'll really start to get hurt and as long as we're working together as one then we'll really really make an impact and really make a change so let's just take a small moment of silence for that all right so let's get into the story time. So I'm gonna do the story. I'm gonna do a story time about um my decision to leave high school and go to GED school. All right, so let's go back to about twenty nine, twenty ten, yeah, twenty ten, yeah, twenty ten. So twenty ten, my 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 second year high school, tenth grade year. Um, well, before, well, before I entered into my 10th grade year, me and mom had talked that summer previously about me, about me attending GED classes if for some reason the school year didn't work out like we thought it would. And basically her thing was, you know, you go, you go, so you're going to finish out the year, you're going to, um, try and get your grades up. And get your credit that get the credit that you need, and you just might have to graduate a year later than you than you are supposed to. And so, um, I was getting bullied, and I'm not. I wouldn't even say bullied because that's kind of strong. I'm gonna say, um, I was getting picked on a lot. People just said things. They didn't. I was. I wasn't getting like bullied like that. That like, people just said things. They were teasing a lot. And um, I wasn't happy. I wasn't. I wasn't interested in school. I pretty much was going just to be in a. I was pretty much just taking up a seat. So I wasn't trying anymore. And I wasn't. And I. And when I went in, I I attended the try, but then like most like the school year does to me, things started happening, and I wasn't happy, and I knew it. So let's fast forward to towards the end of the year. The conversation came back up with my mom, and I was like, Mom, I think I really want to drop out and go get my GD. She said, okay, we'll just finish out the year. So a few a few um days before the end of the year, I pu she pulled me out, and I dropped out. And I let all my friends, and I let everybody know what I was doing. And some of them tried to talk me out of it, and some of them didn't. And some of them, and some of them said, you know, well, you got to do what you got to do. And I'm happy for you, and I hope you get it. Some of my teachers didn't quite agree with it. They thought maybe I should stay and try. But I was at, I was just at my breaking point, and I, was get, and I wasn't really in the school anymore. So, let's get into me dropping out. So, I dropped out. And I had my summer like everybody else, and then sometime right before August, this well, right before the school year started, I went and I and I signed up for my classes. I looked it up online. My school has it posted on the website. The the school, the college, because it's a community college, they have it posted on the website, and um. And um, you can go in and they tell you like when we re when they register, when you come in and sign up and with all of that all that jazz. So I went in, me and my mom went in and I and I um went into the, the the school and I signed up for my classes and I started my class. I would start I was set to start my classes that for that summer semester. So I started my GED classes in October of 2010. I mean August of 2010, and I can't, I can't, I can't describe to you um, the feeling that I had when I walked in the class. Like it was like a relief of some. I can't really explain it because I was still a little timid because, like I said, I had just came out of school and I just. I wasn't really feeling school like that because of what people had took me through while I was there. So, like, the feeling I had when I entered was, like, one of relief. 
like I was just like like I was finally where I was supposed to be and um I I, I, I gotta say when I when I went in there I didn't expect to make a family like I did because I didn't I didn't just go to class with classmates I I met a second family in in those classes I it it changed my life literally like I met people, I encountered people, nice, great people. I encountered many great people in those classes, and I'll never, I never regret those moments and stuff like that. So, I enjoyed my time. Some of the things that happened, some of the people I talked to, I'll never forget, and those are the stories I can tell you too. But this is just basically about this. So I started my classes, and the classes were fun. You know, when you first enter, you have to take a um a, what they call a tape test, and basically, what well, get a tape test, and and basically the tape, and you'll get that like biweekly, like every forty hours you take a test, and it's just like to make sure, just to see where you are, just to see what you need to work on, what to see, to see what classes you need to be in, because they had like three levels of classes, so you had. Um, base foundations and basically that's where you learn the foundation for everything else that you're going to learn in the other classes. So they had foundations, they had GED, they had pre-GED and they had GED. And so foundations was was elementary school. Let's be honest, because that 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 means you was at the elementary school level. Found found I mean um pre-GED was middle school level. And GED was high school level. So when you got to GED, then that pretty much meant you were ready to, you were getting ready to take a test, getting ready to take all your tests and getting ready to finish. Now, in certain cases, it fluctuated kind of because like with me, towards the end of my time there, I was, you could, you could be in, you could be in a pre-GED, in a pre-GED math and a GED, you know, um, reading so that that was a possibility or you could mix and match it just depends so maybe if you was in pre-ged reading i mean ged reading it would be like this so for like they, they have they, they do what they call blitz blitz week and basically blitz week is where they they go they go heavy into one subject for two weeks and for one for one subject, so say you're working on language arts, so for one so you do language arts for two weeks straight. That's language arts and reading. So that's all you do for two weeks straight and then you take a practice test at the end of the second week. And if you're and if you and if you make like a certain number, like okay, one forty one forty five is passed and one forty five or higher is passed. And so if you make that if you make that or higher, you're eligible to go take a GD test. And the next week you might be doing social studies or science. It was like that for all of them. And then they would have math. So for that, for those two weeks in that math class, you couldn't attend that math class unless you was in Blitz Math. So you would just go to your, back to your um class and work on what they were working on for that week, or you could work on the computers, or whatever, what have, what may, what have you may anyway. And. Morning, the mornings was always, you know, math, and the evenings was always, um, everything else, except for Blitz Week. So, if, if, if it was Blitz Week in GED, in the, in the GED classes, and they were working on math, they was going to work on math morning and afternoon. And it was a four-hour, um, it was a four-hour class, they were four-hour classes. So for the first for the first half hour you'll be in, you know, your your math class and the next half hour you'll be in your reading, social studies, language arts classes. So on and so on. And um I'm telling you this, um I had a, a test phobia when I entered those classes. I had a very big fear of taking tests throughout my school career. That's always been my biggest um problem, math and taking tests. That's what I had the trouble with. And though and when it came time for me to take those tests, those are the things I had to focus in on more cuz I knew how I was. And as I grew, reading like became like a thing for me. I read all the time. That's all I do. So, 
Reading just became my second nature. But math, on the other hand, me and math ain't friends. We ain't never going to be friends. We got to understand it. You stay in your lane, I'm going to stay in mine. That's how me and math works. <laughs> and I kind of had to get out of that when I was in those classes because the math part is very, it's very, very tedious and very, very, um, it's not hard. It's just, it's just more, I can't think of the word, but it's, I can't think of the word, but it's not hard, but it's just, like, more in detail. You have to do more. And, like, basically, like, when they, when they, say, when they say foundation, they mean they layering on each level of math that you get. So, like, like foundation. So, that's adding, subtracting, times, um, dividing, all that. And then, you know, everything gets on top of that. Fractions, you know, whether that, that's fractions, you know, um, three-step Three step division problems, um, two step fractions, three step fractions, all that kind of stuff like that, and it just layers it all. So you kind of have to pay attention, take notes, and keep up when you're in those classes. But the best thing about it was the teachers. The teachers didn't mind. They didn't mind working with you on it. Like so, if you didn't understand, they could almost look at. They could always just look at you and tell. Especially if you've been in there a minute, they could always just look at you and tell. And I think. That was a big reason why I successfully made it through. Not just because of the teachers I had, but because of the people around me. You know, it was a family, so we helped each other where we could. You know, if I was stronger in this subject and say Charles wasn't, you know, I helped Charles. And if he was stronger in math and I wasn't, he helped me. And that was the best thing about those classes. And then it felt like a family. And I know that all GED classes aren't like the ones I attended. But I think... Those classes made me fall in love with school again. Something that I had long lost, long grew out of. And that's why when I think about going back, it doesn't scare me as bad. Because I know that if I could if if, if I could meet people like that, you know, just going to G D classes, I know that everybody is not the same. I know that it won't always I know that the classes won't always be like that, but it it took the fear out of school for me. So, if I ever do decide to go back, I I wouldn't hesitate to go back now. So, And I graduated eventually. And that's another story in itself that I could tell y'all if y'all would like to hear. I wasn't going to do a story time for a couple more days, actually. But, you know, I just... I decided, because I had already filmed another video, I decided just go ahead and throw this one out there. And when I got ready to post it, I post it. So, you might get it. You might not get it. We'll see. But, um, I love, like I said, I love my time in my classes. I enjoyed my time. You know, I, when when I left, I cried, actually, a little bit. I cried because, and it was kind of hard to let go because cause in my class, I met, like I said, one of my best friends in my first, I met one of my best friends who am I very grateful. We got out there together. That's another story. He wants to get in on this. I'm not going to even start on it, but we got out there together. And when we graduated or whatever, he kept wanting to go back. So every day he called me like, yes, yes, let's go back to school. Let's go see. Let's go see everybody. Let's go see everybody. So we, somehow we ended up back down there for like the first couple of weeks. We even stayed for a whole class one day. The day after we took the test and passed and we stayed for a whole class. So that lets you know right there that it wasn't just school for us. It was it was home, a second home for us. And I loved it. I enjoyed my time and you know, now that I miss them kind because of like at least I had the option to go see them, but with everything going on, COVID nineteen and everything, the classes have been shut down. And, you know, my cousin ended up following me in my path to getting a GD because he dropped out, too. That's not my story to tell. That's his, but, you know. So, he's almost finished. So, by the time he go, he go back, maybe he'll be wrapping up on his last test. And if you want to know my last test, my last test was actually math. And my first test, which what I thought would have been reading, wasn't reading. It was so it was science. I that was the first test I passed. I had tried multiple times. Another story in itself. I I'm just gonna I'm not gonna do all that right now. I'm just telling you the part I just told you about my um about me going from high school to G D classes and the transition. I'm not gonna get into those. Those are different stories I can talk about later. But 
like my transition from high school to GED classes. And I'm just I'm just putting that to you. In GED classes, these are grown people. And so when when I say that I, I said it like I said to say this. If you coming from somewhere like where I came, like where you getting picked on the bully, whatever you, whatever have you, remember that grown people aren't like that. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't run like that. They don't do like that. They don't roll like that. So that's not something you would really have to worry about unless you mess with some immature grown people. And there are some, some people like that, but you know. I, I I'm talking about grown grown people with 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 business about it. So they got kids, families, and all of that. So you have to keep that in mind. And everybody is there for a reason. So if you come to another plan, all that you need to cut all that out at the door. You know, if you want to play, you want to do all that. You don't need to be in these classes because these folks are serious about what they're trying to do, and it's important to them. Some of them, they lives depend on them getting that piece of paper. Some of them, that means everything to them. That's a step in a new direction, a step closer to a new job with more pay. So, if you go, if you attending some class like that, please try and be respectful of these people because they really are trying to accomplish something here. Some of these people haven't been in school for years, years. And people come in there and play and act like it's a game, and it's not a game. It's for real. And you, if you're going into those classes, you need to be focused. You need to be ready, and you need to be prepared. Do not go in there wasting these teachers' time, these people's time, because that is time and money they can't get back, and that's just rude. And now I'm seeing it time and time again. People coming up from high school for whatever reason. And they play and they play. Not that they're smart, not that they're not smart and they can't get through, but they in another play and that's not what that's for. They're, people are there to get things done and you have to remember that. It's a time, it's a place for all of that playing stuff, but be serious when it's time to be serious. And I'm just going to end it right on that note because I'm getting too, too turned up in here, but be serious, y'all. And, and I suggest, and I'm going to say this too. If you in high school and you contemplating leaving and going to get your GED classes, talk to your parents. Don't do this if you have a choice. I really didn't have a choice. I didn't have that many credits. I only had one and a half credits when I left. I wasn't gonna I wasn't at that point I wasn't even gonna graduate on time, period. So I wasn't where I was gonna be the held up another year doing it. So if you if you in the tenth grade and you got all your credits or if you can graduate early, do so. But I'm saying enjoy your time in high school because it, when it's gone, it's gone. It's not coming back. I get people telling me all the time, them four years went by fast. Try to enjoy it. I know that sometimes it's hard because it's high school. I get it. But try to stick in there because the things that you'll miss out on later, you'll regret. I didn't get to go to prom and... I regret that because I wish I could have went because my friends actually ended up going in a group and they looked like they had so much fun and I really and I really wish I would have stayed long enough to do that or at least enjoy you know my time or whatever have you made but please just really 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 think about it really really consider your options really really think about what you're going to do before you do it because once you quit you quit and you can't go back. Well, I don't know if you can go back, but I didn't. I couldn't go back because at that point I was grown technically. So think about it and really be serious and talk to your parents and just consider all your options. If you got if you got the grades, then stop worrying about uh, everything just because that don't really matter. And focus on what's important. You if you if you if you in your tenth grade you don't got two more years you can deal with them for for two more years I promise you, in 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 five years these people will not matter they won't matter it won't matter what they said when you was in high school because it won't affect you no more because some of these same people some of the same people that picked on you in high school you will see them in the grocery store and you be like hey and they'll be hey they'll be saying hey back so it it'll be like as if it never happened and you still harping and holding on to it or you mad or whatever. To go, I'm like that. I know I shouldn't be talking because I'm like that, but I can't help it. But that's why that's why this channel is here to encourage people to do the opposite of what I do. I know what I'm doing is wrong, and I want to encourage you to do the opposite of what I'm doing. So if you can, if you can stay in school, stay in school. This is this is a this is a all all else fails option or all else fails. I don't I don't encourage nobody to drop out if they don't have to. Stay in there if you can. Stay in there.
all right that's it i'm about to get off um thanks for watching enjoy comment i mean leave a comment subscribe let me know what you want to see i do have more story times about my time in my classes and all that kind of stuff like that if you want to see that and comment subscribe like all of that jazz and hit that notification bell if you want i don't think it's enough people on here to hit the notification bell but if you want to, you can hit it i don't care um but that's it for the day bye